When any of us stands in the morning to wash our face and wants the water to be a little warm, all we do is turn the faucet handle slightly to the left, and immediately the water starts to get warmer. If the water gets too hot, we simply turn the handle a bit to the right. This simple process is something we all know and do on a daily basis. But how many of us have asked ourselves how the faucet, with just this simple movement, switches between hot and cold water? In the early plumbing systems and homes, there are two main water lines, one coming from the main supply, which we call the cold line, and another that also comes from the main supply, but first goes to the water heater before coming out, which we call the hot line. The single-handle faucet we all know, commonly referred to as a mixer tap, has both a hot and a cold water line connected to it. These two lines meet inside the faucet in a part called the cartridge, valve, or mixing valve. This valve is what regulates the whole process. The cartridge in a mixer tap has three openings. The first one receives cold water, the second one receives hot water, and then both mix in a small chamber inside the faucet called the mixing chamber. This chamber is connected to a third opening, which is where the mixed water comes out. But that's not all. The cartridge also controls the amount of water flowing out. Both the hot and cold water inlets have specific covers or washers that regulate water flow. For example, in one instance, both the cold and hot water washers may be closed, while in another, only the cold water washer is open. Or sometimes, only the hot water washer is open. In other cases, both washers are open but to different degrees, which results in warm water flowing at a moderate rate. All of these precise operations are easily controlled by the handle of the faucet.